All right, so for today's on feet, I have the Jordan 3 Patchworks. Now, this is a shoe I passed on when I originally saw them. Wasn't that interested, but then later on, I regretted that decision, even though I did kind of like them when they first appeared, but uh, had to go back and pick these up. You know, I got these for a great deal. This past Christmas time from a local resale shop, you know, a guy and I, we were able to work out a nice little deal on these. And uh, this is what I have on feet for today. Hey, welcome back to the Warrior Kicks channel. This is episode six. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. And appropriately, I do have a review of the Valentine's Day dunks. If you've been watching, there's been a bunch of restocks for that shoe. I hit on them originally on the sneakers app a couple of days ago. So we're gonna get into those. Also, there's some sneaker news to get into. We have the Jordan 1 High 85 black and whites. They're dropping on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Also this weekend is NBA All-Star Weekend and we got two sneakers dropping. We have the Jordan 1 High Laney's for the women and the Jordan 13 playoffs. Also, <laughs> Nike, warehouse in memphis apparently hit again oh boy all right let's get into it all right guys so let's get into the sneaker news a little bit so as we know this is a, a big week of drops especially with tomorrow the jordan one high 85 black and whites they're dropping you know as i said earlier it's going to be a tough cop it's going to be a tough cop i'm going after these shoes i'm going to try on the sneakers app I put in for a ton of different raffles, so I'm crossing my fingers and hopefully I get a dub. But we know how the game is when it comes to these sneakers. I mean, you know, the demand is really high and unfortunately the supply in this case is going to be kind of low. So, you know, if you're going after the shoe, I wish you good luck. If you hit and I don't, I won't throw no shade, but hey guys, you know, hopefully we all get a dub. Hopefully we all can get a dub. Anyways, uh, I would also be remiss if I forgot to mention that I believe this Thursday, those big red boots that I talked about in a previous video, they're finally dropping uh, on the Mischief app. They're running about $350. Uh, if you think you want those, then good luck to you. I'm staying away from them. You will not catch me wearing them damn things. I mean... No, they're, they're not for me. But if they're for you, good luck to you. Hopefully you cop. Also, this weekend, we have the Jordan 1 Hot Laney's. The reverse Laney's, actually. Now, this is a woman's sneaker. Now, previously, I was hearing a lot of information that these shoes were supposed to come in extended sizing. And if they did, your boy was going to try and cop a pair. But... You know, today we actually had exclusive access go out from finish line and it only went up to uh, a 10 women's. Now, some people said that their areas went up to an 11, maybe a 12 women's, but you know, I need a 13 and a half because I'm a size 12 in men's and it doesn't look like that shoe is actually coming with extended sizing. So the information I had previously, I don't know if it was just rumor or maybe there's extended sizes out there from what i've been hearing there are but unfortunately for whatever reason it doesn't look like they're going to be on the sneakers app it doesn't look like jd finish line has them i, I mean who knows and uh what was it just uh i think it was thursday or friday of last week there was a area shock drop within the arizona area actually for the laney ones but uh, even then, like they didn't have any extended sizes. So I don't know what really the deal is, why things have changed, but that's what we're hearing now is there's not going to be extended sizing. So if this was a sneaker that you were after and you're a big footed person like myself, fortunately it doesn't look like we're going to be able to cop. But if you got small feet, then, well, hey, congratulations. You got a shot. Also, uh, on Saturday is the playoff 13. Now this is a sneaker I know will come in extended sizing. There's not a ton of hype for these, just like the Laney ones, but so these uh, are OGs, guys. These are an OG sneaker and I love my OGs. You know, I, I'm happy that 
I am around to be able to, to cop shoes that, you know, I fell in love with in the past, but at that time just didn't have the bread or the means to be able to cop that sneaker. And, and now that, you know, it's come full circle and they're dropping again, I'm definitely going to get me a pair. Definitely going to get me a pair. These, these sneakers, from the reviews I've seen, from a couple other shoe tubers and stuff like that, I mean, I'm, I'm falling in love with these sneakers even more and more. And it should be, it should be an easier, an easier cop. So if these are sneakers that you're interested in. I wish you good luck and being able to cop everything it is you want. But if not, hey guys, March is shaping up to be filled with a ton of heat, especially, especially those Jordan 3 white cement reimagined. Oh, crossing my fingers that I get a pair and don't have the fiasco like we did when it came to the lost and found ones. I don't think it's gonna be that difficult of a cop this time around because not everybody's in love with the threes as they were the ones, but you never know. You never know how these things are going to end up turning out. But hopefully, you know, I got some good enough relationships out there to where I'll be able to cop a pair for retail pretty easily. Other than that, guys, that's all I got as far as the sneaker news is concerned. Uh, we're going to move on now and get into my review of the Valentine's Day Dunks, which have restocked today. And fittingly, with it being Valentine's Day, this is the perfect time to get into this shoe. All right, let's move on to it. All right, guys, so I have here, as I said before, well, let me let me read the, the label first. So we have the Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM. We have the Pale Ivory Medium Soft Pink Maroon. All right, so without further ado, we have the Nike Dunk Low Valentine's Day. So let me take these out so you can get a good look. All right, right now, I pulled out this left shoe, and here they are. These are the Nike Dunk Low Valentine's Day. Now, this is definitely, it's a nice shoe. It really is. I, I do like the, the pink trim on here on the swoosh, on the back tab with the Nike white stitching. Uh, also, the tongue tag is also in pink with Nike white stitching. Uh, we see the maroon toe box you know, the maroon paneling, maroon insides as well. And this white, it, it's showing up kind of white. It looks like uh, more so that way on my camera. But um, actually this is more, it's, it's closer to like a sail. It's not white, white. But unfortunately I think the, the reflection is giving the, the vibes that it is more white than what it really is. It's all, like I said, it's almost like a sail. It's close. It's close. But, you know, Nike is labeling this ivory, not so much sail white as you would normally get on some of your other sneakers. Um, overall, like I said, this is a nice shoe. You know, I hit these on the sneakers app uh, a few days ago. And surprisingly, they actually arrived to me on Super Bowl Sunday, which I definitely was not expecting. Uh, shipping from FedEx. The thing is, is I didn't even uh, receive a tracking number from Nike. It still said preparing shipment up until Saturday, actually, and Sunday when I when I looked, and then all of a sudden I got a knock at the door, and it was FedEx dropping off the, the dunks. So uh, there's a bunch of restocks going on today, and if you like these, hopefully you were easily able to catch a pair. Now, this is a theme sneaker. I believe there is a woman's version as well uh, for the ladies out there. And there's a few other, uh, you know, Valentine's themed sneakers that dropped today too. I believe there's a Valentine's Air Force One uh, that dropped. And uh, also, oh, there's a Jordan One Zoom Comfort Valentine's sneaker that dropped, I believe a couple of days ago as well. Uh, that shoe look kind of hot. It's not, you know, I don't personally like it. It's a woman's shoe anyway, so it's not like I could get it. But, you know, uh, it, there's options. There's options to some of these Valentine sneakers, right? And let me go ahead and pull out the, the right shoe. Not that there's anything different to it, but, you know, just want to be able to show both sneakers. And, yeah, man, I mean, this is overall, it's, it's, it's a nice shoe. It's a nice dunk. 
Um, it's not really busting like that right now on the aftermarket. Not that that technically matters, but at the same time, that's something to think about. You know, uh, this is definitely a sneaker. If if you want it, it's it's an easy cop. Like I said, there's a bunch of restocks going on, so it should be fairly easy for you to go ahead and get. But I wouldn't take it for granted that you can just go back and get this shoe any old time, um, especially for retail, because, you know, with this being a theme sneaker, obviously, you know, you're not going to get a ton of these, you know, six months down the line. You're not going to see restocks of these. Maybe right now, with it being February, being around Valentine's Day, you'll, you'll get a few of those. But overall, at some point, like when this shoe's gone, it's gone. And if you want it, then you're going to have to pay resale for it. And, you know, with something like this that, you know, once inventory is soaked up, it's soaked up. I mean, it's just going to creep up. It's going to creep up over time. I mean, it's not anything special right now. I don't really see this hitting like the four or $500 mark. I mean, you never know. I mean, some shoes have shot up that we didn't expect to, but I would say maybe this would creep up in the high 200s, close to 300 bucks. And at that point, you're like, damn, I could have had this easily for 120, 110, 120. I believe these were, I believe these were 120. I'll have to double check. If, if they were cheaper than that, I'll definitely put it down here, but uh, I believe I paid 120 for these. So in any case, like I said, guys, this is just an overall look at the shoe. If you want to be able to cop this today, like I said, there's a bunch of restocks. One of the easiest ways to be able to cop one of these through a restock is make sure you're on Twitter because that's where most of the information I get gets put out. And, you know, when I can, I retweet the information out there. So if you like these, like I said, go ahead and try your best to cop. Now, something else I want to get into before I go ahead and end this video. Uh, I'm sure by now you've heard the news that the Nike Distribution Center in Memphis, Tennessee was once again hit by looters, you know. But this time, this time they were so brazen that they tried to walk into the facility in broad daylight while people were actually working. You remember a few months ago they hit up the Nike warehouse, but they hit the 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 trailers that were sitting outside. And you remember some of those pictures of seeing the inventory from Nike scattered all over the place. At the time, it was estimated about eight hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise was stolen from then. I believe one of the shoes uh, were the Cherry Elevens, I believe, and it was the Metallic Sixes. I'll have to go back and check that and if it was a different shoe i'll make sure to put it here but overall i mean really what i want to get into is the fact that nike definitely needs to you know have a a, a better a better source of security for their workers in this facility i mean the fact that people out here think that they can just walk in to this place in broad daylight and just steal stuff out of there means that They've, they've cased this area out and they know for whatever reason that it's going to be an easy lick. It's an easy lick to go ahead and get it at Nike, especially in broad daylight. So Nike, if, if you're listening, you know, I know I'm a small channel and, and you probably, this right now will probably never make it to any of your ears, but please guys, please, you know, I, I'm a lover of the brand. You know, I've been buying the brand for a long time, but I'm definitely putting myself in the shoes of people who work there and you know what everyone wants a safe environment to be able to work in so whatever you can do please do it for your employees and make sure that you know they have a safe area to work in and not only that you know it also would go over well for the consumers like myself of your products to know that those areas are well protected i mean there's there's enough going on out here when it comes to trying to cop the merchandise and and now to see that people can just walk in and you know steal stuff and it possibly be you know your item that you've been waiting on and you were crossing your fingers to possibly hit because listen you know how tough it is especially with some of these you know sought after items it, it can be really tough for your consumers to get them and i'm sure you <laughs> you feel a, a, a number a number of complaints when they're not able to cop and, and i'm sure you see all over twitter people saying oh i'm so mad i couldn't hit this that and the third but 
you know, now now we're in a, a sense of where they could hit and still not end up with their product because it's being stolen directly out of the warehouse, let alone, you know, the Russian roulette almost it is for the item to leave your warehouse and hopefully not get stolen by one of the various delivery uh, carriers that you work with. So, you know, Nike, I, I think it would just bode over well if you could please, please look to protect your workers. Because at the end of the day, that's what I'm really, that's what I'm really um, advocating for. But, you know, shout out to the Nike workers who tried to basically defend themselves. You know, that was actually kind of uh, heroic to see them band together and try to fight those people off. But obviously I don't want anybody to get hurt, especially those who are working there. So, you know, for others out there who see this happen and maybe they get the notion, hey, we, we can do the same thing. Yes, you can, but but pursue that with caution because, you know, had these guys had some type of firing armed weapons on them, I mean, someone could have been hurt at worst, you know, and someone could have been killed, you know, and, and that's not something that we want to read about in the paper. You know, everyone wants to be able to go to work, be in a safe environment and be able to make it home to their families. So that's just it guys. Um, overall, you know, hopefully you like the video. Hopefully you like my review on the Nike Dunk Low Valentine's Day sneakers. Like I said, if you want to be able to cop a pair, it should be pretty easy to cop, but you know, don't wait too long because when they're gone, they're gone. Don't forget to put in your raffles for the Jordan 1 High 85s. And with this weekend being All-Star Weekend, be on the lookout for some possible shock drops, okay? Because it, it's, it, it could happen. It could happen. So make sure you, you, you stay in the know, all right? In any case, be true. Stay in the moment. And don't forget to wear your kicks.